As she continued to make her point on today's broadcast, Whoopi Goldberg, host of The View, flagrantly disregarded the producer's request. Whoopi, 67, persisted in making her point during a contentious debate on Monday's episode of The View, even after show executives urged her to stop talking. The View's panelists discussed President Joe Biden's 80-year-old classified document scandal on today's Emmy-winning talk show. Following the discovery of multiple secret government documents in his private residence and workplace, the head of state recently made headlines. The co-anchors didn't waste any time in expressing their thoughts on the commander-in-chief's current scandal, as the morning show is renowned for tackling difficult subjects. The 67-year-old added her thoughts shortly after ABC co-anchors 51-year-old Anna Navarro and 33-year-old Alyssa Farah Griffin made their strong comments regarding President Biden. I'm going to reiterate, it really will depend on what's in those boxes, in my opinion, because if presidents do have the power to declassify things, then you know, Whoopi started. The problem for me is I want us to wait and get all the information and know what we're talking about, you know. The 54-year-old show co-host Sunny Hostin interrupted her while she was sharing her viewpoint, prompting the EGOT winner to emphasize that her opinions were simply her own. This is my opinion. Prior to the commercial break, the comedian went on, This is just me saying, President, Joe didn't say it, Whoopi said it. In an effort to get the TV celebrity to stop talking, executives let music play in the background while Whoopi spoke. Whoopi completely disregarded the showrunner's efforts. The decision by the people in power behind the scenes at The View to cut back on Whoopi's talking time may have been prompted by her previous divisive comments made during contentious debates on the program. Whoopi's wrong and hurtful comments regarding Jews in the Holocaust led to a two-week suspension from The View in 2022, according to network ABC. Whoopi asserted that the Holocaust was not about race, but rather white-on-white -white violence and man's inhumanity to man, during a discussion about the anti-Nazi graphic novel Mouse. Whoopi brought up the subject once more in her most recent interview with The Times, hinting that Jews themselves disagree on whether they belong to a race or a religion. The absence of a Jewish race box on the census is not a coincidence, according to my best buddy. Therefore, that makes me think that we're probably not a race, she remarked. Yes, but that's the killer, isn't it? Whoopi said in response to the interviewer's observation that Nazis considered Jews to be a race. You are being told who you are by your oppressor. Why do you think they're real? They're Nazis. Why should we believe what they say? Whoopi added, they did that to black people too. After being informed that Nazis had once measured Jews' heads and noses to prove they were a separate race. However, that doesn't alter the fact that you can't spot a Jew on the street. I may be located. You were unable to locate them. I was trying to make that point. However, you would have assumed that I had urinated on the table while completely nude, she said.